if you're struggling right now, you don't have to do it alone. This is part of my Inspire series, and my name is Sylvia Mordini, the founder of Life Inspired. If right now you're struggling with work, with family, with relationship, with money, with health, with all of it, you do not have to do it by yourself. I'm here to remind you that there are so many opportunities for you to reach out, reach out to a mentor, a friend, reach out to me, reach out to family, reach out to a therapist, but reach out. It's always so easy to think that when things are difficult, no one wants to be burdened by our troubles. And so then we start to do it all ourselves or think that we have to hold it in or hold things up or hold things back. But the reality is that we don't have to do that. Life is not a game of solitaire. We're not here by ourselves and neither do we need to face the struggles and the challenges that are ever mounting in life. And honestly, they're never ending. It's like the gopher game. You face one thing, everything's peaceful and calm, and then there's something else that occurs. Such is life. And so the sooner that you realize that part of staying motivated, inspired, and enthusiastic about your life is to not get so bogged down by the heaviness of having to face each and every struggle by yourself, the better, the better for you. I also want you to know and remember that you deserve to be supported. You deserve to have help. You deserve to be loved, to be seen, to be witnessed, and to be helped in the direction and in the way that you most need it to be. But if you don't communicate with others what it is that you need, what is your call to action, so to speak, then it puts all of us that are around you, that are loving you, that want to be of service to you and want to support you, it puts us at a disadvantage. It doesn't mean that we can't maybe see some of your struggle, but to be honest with the rates of smiling depression and the fact that so many people, the way that pain, anguish, stress manifests on their face doesn't match the inside experience they're having. I like to say that, you know, sometimes my insides don't match my outsides and sometimes my outsides don't match my insides. And I know this from personal experience and I've had to really work at not staying in a social mask of a smile to make other people feel more comfortable or saying something difficult and then laughing afterwards as if I don't really mean what I'm saying, but when I do, and I've had to unlearn those patterns of behavior. And part of that unlearning was to realize that ultra independence is a trauma response. Ultra independence is a trauma response. That's not how we're made. Somewhere along the way, one challenge, one trauma, another, another. We started to learn ultra independence, but it can be unlearned. And then for some of us, we're coming in with ancestral wounding and cultural challenges on top of all of it. And once we've achieved a certain level of success or comfort, or we give the appearance that we have everything all together, it often makes it even more difficult to reach out and to say to people around us, just because that was yesterday and everything was all together, today I don't feel that way. And I'm really in a struggle right now. You're allowed to change the way you feel. And just because yesterday, last month, last year, everything was on easy speed, doesn't mean that that's the way that you're feeling right now. And you have an opportunity today to reach out to someone and it could be in any form that you wish you know for sometimes the ways that social media gets maligned i also think that it's a really powerful medium to connect with other people they don't even necessarily have to be physically near us there's people across the world that are thinking of you and that want to support you today in this moment 
And so whether it's through social media, sharing how you're feeling, or making that call, writing that email, leaving that text, whatever form it takes, just do it. Don't hesitate or delay any longer. We get acclimated to the pain chamber. When things are not going well or we're, we're in pain and we're challenged, we go into the pain chamber and it's an isolation chamber. And that's exactly what we do. We go in, we close the door, and we just stay stuck with our own pain, anguish, and challenges, stress, and overwhelm. And no one can even see us because we've isolated ourselves. And so that's when it's even more important to see if you're putting yourself in the pain chamber to break that habit, that response, and to stay out of the pain chamber. And instead, don't isolate, reach out, be open, and a little goes a long way, right? Raising that flag just a little bit, it will be seen. And I know for those of you that are thinking to yourselves, well, in the past, when I've had problems, pain, and challenges, and I have raised the flag, no one responded. No one threw me the life preserver. No one helped me. Believe me, I, I get that. In the most traumatic circumstances of my life, when I have reached out to others, I cannot say that I've had the proof always that people were gonna be there for me. But what I've also learned is that the past does not predict the future. The past does not predict the future. So if nobody responded when you reached out for help a year ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, it doesn't mean that they're not gonna respond right now. We're in a different place in time. You're different, they're different. And there's even more people and more resources than ever before. So just because it didn't work in the past doesn't mean that it's not going to now. And most of all, I hope that you go into this re-remembering of how deserving you are to be loved and supported. And that today you can reach out, you can make a difference, you can change the course of your life by just saying something in your best way, that you could use some support, some help, that you're having a tough time and then allow yourself to receive that. Stay out of isolation. You're proving nothing by being ultra independent because the reality of our humanity is that we are interdependent. It's how we're made, it's how we're created, and it's how we function at our best. At the core, we are meant to be loved, and there's love all around you. We just have to re-remember. So please take a look at the comments and you'll find some other resources that I am recommending. And please do reach out. And always know that you can reach out to me as well. I am here in your divine support. From my heart to your heart to the heart of the universe. May you love yourself love your day and love your life.